<laughs> so oh, Ubisoft or Ubisoft, whatever, has replied. Uh, they've responded to the backlash. Nick, I want your opinion on all of this first. What do you reckon to this Star Wars, Star Wars Outlaws, Mam Solo? What do you reckon? F Star Wars Outlaws, F Ubisoft. Uh, this looks like a pile of trash. The character looks trash. And uh, I, I'm guessing this article's going to get into it. Ubisoft is known for bait and switch on games, showing you trailers, showing you stuff, and then flipping it around and not giving it all to you. So I, I used this example before when the division, when they're promoting the first division game, man, I was hyped for that game. Like pre-order day one, I was getting it. I got it. It was nothing like what I got in the trailers, nothing. And I'm like, what is this? Like, this is this is not what was sold to me. Oh, Ubisoft mm. is known for doing that. And their comments on, you know, wanting people to not pretty much own their games. But, get, you know, get used to not owning it. Yeah. yeah, get used to not owning it. But technically, in a way, you don't really own them when you buy it. There's If you read the fine print, you're basically like leasing it uh, or anyways if it's if it's a especially if it's a digital copy you're you're basically leasing it uh mm. physical copies uh on on retro games is really the only real games you really own uh as if you own the physical copies but but yeah now apparently now what we're seeing in this outlaws trailer the whole Jabba thing all that's going to be blocked, put behind a paywall so you have Wait, to pay you're... extra to see well, the also, one cool thing that was in that trailer, I was like, "This actually looks really cool. Like, this looks good. The anime, like everything looks good. Take her, uh, you know, ma'am, out of uh, the 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 whole scene in mm. Jabba's throne room and stuff. Looks great. He looks great. I I thought they did a good job there. I had no complaints other than her, the character. But yeah, this this is dead on arrival. Yeah." Uh, massively is it's been disliked into oblivion uh the main story trailer has elements of a story you've got to pay to go and play <laughs> so dumb outside of the new game the game's overall cost is insanely high as well it's a season pass for a single player game mm -hmm. uh, it's, the whole thing is just nonsense it's absolute nonsense um so what it is is that yeah the jab of the hut missions it is behind a paywall but ubisoft has come out and responded to it uh, and basically, they've responded to the backlash. Uh, and, and just as an FYI, the game's official website details that players who purchase season one pass or season pass unlock two additional narrative expansions coming after launch a day one exclusive mission with Jabba and additional cosmetics. Now, those cosmetics in the fine print literally say, Yeah, you can, um, we, we can give those away for free as well, just, but just as an FYI. So that's shit. Like, yeah, keep, it's cosmetics. Keep, like, giveaway for free as well though like it's you know what you're paying for at that level uh but anyway specifically discuss in the jabber mission the website reads just as k is putting together a crew for the canto bite heist she receives a job from jabber the hut himself turns out that nd5 owes jabber a debt from years ago and he's come to collect and obviously people are like yeah this is this is dog shit obviously they got so much heat for this like as if they didn't get heat anyway they got a lot of heat for this this game is dead just as a result of of all the tr chronic mismanagement uh but anyway spokesperson has talked to ign and says to clarify jabba the hut and hut cartel are one of the main syndicates in star wars outlaws and will be a part of the experience for everyone who purchased the game regardless of edition now just listen to how they say that part of the experience they're part of the syndicates does, that doesn't mean what it doesn't mean the stories around it all, but okay. The Jabba's Gambit mission yeah. is an optional additional mission with the Hut Cartel. So everything that people said was completely right. Yeah, you, you, it's all locked behind a paywall. It's all fine saying that the main syndicates in Star Wars Outlaws and they'll be part of an experience. What you'll get to look at them. Yeah, it absolutely is what everyone said it was behind a paywall. Yeah. Uh, so no, the uh, Jabba's uh, Gambit mission is an optional additional 
mission with the Hut Cartel along Kay and Nix's journey across the Outer Rim. This mission will be available to those who purchase the season pass and edition of the game, which includes the season pass. So everything that everyone said, their response just confirms it even further. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, well, I got something to share. So here is the God. the editions you can pre-order. Um, standard edition, just base game pre-order bonus. You know, seventy bucks. Seventy dollars, man. For, yeah. for I, a game, I, for a game that will end up broken on day one. Remember, it yeah. will be buggy. You'll have yep. to download a day one patch. Even then, probably not going to. And then it's still probably going to be fucked. So, yeah, what's the point of this? The gold edition, which is forty dollars more for just wow. three day early access and a season pass it, they don't even tell you how long the, the seasons are i mean the, the wow. uh, what are they going to be three a three month season then you got to purchase another season pass Th this is what destiny 2 started doing and that's why i got out of playing that game uh but then you got the ultimate addiction uh, ultimate edition for 130 dollars yeah. which is just more um, just throw away stuff that should just be free in the game, stuff that you can unlock wow. by actually playing it. But to people out there that do want to get this game, this is what I would suggest the ultimate edition. The ultimate edition by joining the Ubisoft Plus, <laughs> $18 a month. So you can get you'll get all of this stuff. Now, when you cancel it, you won't have the game. You won't have any of this stuff anymore. But you can go and check it all out, experience it, everything for $18. And ah, then but you just they cancel. broke you into a contract, though, that you got No, you year. can cancel any time. I've, I've already looked at, into it and everything. You can sign up, cancel any time. Um, uh, so, literally, if anyone out there is interested, month, and then this is what I would do. You, you basically have one month to go through, check all this out. You'll get the three-day early access, uh, pre-order bonus, season pass, you'll get the job emissions, all that sort of stuff. But that way, you're not giving $130. Hmm. I, they would are buying never, your I wouldn't even pay $70 info, though. for this game. They're taking your info. They can sell it. Yeah, that is true. That is true. And they do hate you. Yeah. But, but that would be my suggestion. I, I'm not even going to, I have no interest in playing it. I'm not even going to do this 18 a month, but people, you know, over on our channel that are like, Hey, I'm going to check it out. Uh, you know, I'm hearing all the backlash, but I'm still going to check it out. I'm like, look, if you're not, no, if you don't know Ubisoft's track record, I would mm -hmm. highly suggest trying it out for the $18 a month thing before you commit to buying and spending this much money like don't yeah. chance it don't risk it uh is all i'm saying but uh yeah those are the those are the pre-order editions and, and they're again they're not clear on length of time for season passes or or any of that stuff and then of course you know all that content could end up going away they could put new stuff in the game they'll pull that stuff out you won't even be able to play it anymore uh like i've just Mm. Not interested. Not interested at all. Uh, Culture, you got anything to add to this? What, oh, I hate this. Or... I hate this. The only thing worthwhile that you would be remotely interested in, they are they as as Nick already said, they put behind a paywall. I, yeah. I was incensed the minute I read that. I'm like, I'm not touching this game. And not only that, looks like complete trash. Oh my god! Mm. The only thing that looked like real good video game models are things that they've had the good video game models of for a long time. All the new stuff that they created, the meshes and the skins, they look like trash. The only reason mm. they can reasonably represent Job of the Hut is because they're not beating the hell out of it with the ugly stick, and yeah. they, you know. And I'm freaking tired of that. Um, you know, I look, I I enjoy games that are aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing. Even a post-apocalyptic world like Fallout, I can just absolutely fall in love with. But what I what I can't abide is just you know, uglifying everything that has some uh, aesthetic, objective beauty quality to it, which they do with all of the women now in Star Wars. They are going to mm. sell you Plank of Wood, the movie, and the video game, and the theme park ride forever and ever, which is just lame that's yeah. nice i guarantee you this thing will be on sale within two months 
Yeah. No, oh, yeah. Uh, that, I don't think it'll take that long. How long did it take for uh, Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League to make it to sale? Two was, weeks? Uh, that was on sale before its release. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. When pre orders start getting refunded and canceled. Uh, yeah, they actually uh, brought the price down before the game ever even officially yeah. dropped. That was crazy. Mm. Absolutely crazy. Madness. Uh, but, but, but the thing is that the, the thing is there's those Star Wars fans out there that you just slap that Star Wars name on the biggest oh, yeah. pile of turds you can find and they're going to eat it up and be like, oh, this is a good Star Wars turd. You know, I just it's got Star Wars on it. So I'm just going to love it and consume it, you know. Oh, the worst! They, they, uh, people that just consume product, the worst. You got to be uh, a little bit more discerning of what you, what you, uh, you consume, guys. Come on now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Tom, you got anything to say to this? Nothing. Yay, nay. Oh, I don't know. All right, <laughs> there we go. There we go. Right, anyway, guys. It's a shit show. Star Wars Outlaws, I mean, it is dead on arrival. I know some people are like, oh, yeah, but it's Star Wars. It doesn't matter. There have been Star Wars games that have bombed. This will be one of them. I think mm. people, there'll be a big wake up call for those that think that this won't bomb. I think it will massively. The Lego um, Star Wars games do really well. Like, if they're coming out with a new Lego yeah. Star Wars game, like, like, I mean, but the thing is, they wouldn't be doing the season pass stuff and. Mm three day like like it would literally just be the game you just pay the regular price you pay for any game and you just yeah. get everything you unlock everything by playing through it and that, that's it you know yeah it'd be interesting no micro transactions or yeah it'd be interesting to see the metrics on this compared to some other games that have come out but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it i think this is a bomb that's it let's shuffle on 